right, Lisa, thank you. Oh, you know what that tune means. It is time for some trending topics. So it's got some good ones for you. All right, you ready? The past year's bonanza of successful Harry Potter properties has J.K. Rowling at the top of the Forbes list of richest authors. Are you wow. ready? An estimated $95 million in earnings over the past year, thanks to hit Potter spin offs as well as sales for Potter, Harry Potter and the Cursed Child. Rowling surged past blockbuster machine James Patterson to reclaim the top spot for the first time in nine years. This year also marked 20 years since the debut of Harry Potter, giving the popular franchise a little extra bump there. Well done. Right? As if they couldn't get any more adorable. Lisa Bonet and Jason Momoa are giving us all the feels once again. The Hawaiian born actor took to Instagram yesterday to share a photo from his wife's birthday surprise for him. How cute are they? He turned 38 on Tuesday, but he's been away filming Aquaman in Queens Island. So, what did Bonet do? She brought the party to him on set, surprising him with their children and some of his friends. I have never been so surprised in my life. Momoa captured the photo. 38 is the greatest to date. The couple started dating in 2005 and they wed in 2007. Oh, look at how happy they look. Well, your two favorite snacks have just combined in the form of something a little interesting. The lunchtime gloriousness of peanut butter and jelly sandwiches um, and the perfection of Oreos have come together to create limited edition PB&J Oreos. I'm not so sure about this. Fascinating. Tea, tea, really? Okay, wait. Cue it up again. Okay. It's peanut butter jelly time. Peanut butter jelly time. Peanut butter jelly time. Lisa. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, am I doing it right? Is this is this how we do it? Dance. No, not it's like more this. like this one. Oh, good. Like Let's show him. Show him. <laughs> See what's going on. Love it. Thank you. Thank you all for indulging me. Thank you. The popular food blog, Junk Banter, snapped a picture of the brand new treats on its Instagram page, writing that the cookies will most likely be exclusive to Kroger stores and Swedish fish Oreos were last year. I'm not so sure about this PB&J Oreo thing. Uh, Junk Banter also wrote that the cookies should be on shelves now since they are limited edition. Uh, well, they'll only be available for a short time, but that is what they look like. So, there you go. Okay, give it a I'm, I'm willing to try one. Okay. That's it. I'll, I'll give him one. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's all, all, all I'll take. All right.